Texas. I think you made the right one. But I know there was lots of wonderful opportunity to see some great music this this Saturday evening. Nice to see all the returning faces and some new friends and some new faces as well. So it's good to have you with us here at Music My Mother Wouldn't Like. Louise and I are in the same room, and so we have to share the microphone at times, otherwise the sound can be a bit cacophonous. But good evening to you all, and welcome to the third installment of Joan and Joni, a musical tribute to Joan Baez and Joni Mitchell, as performed by Allison Shapira and Kippen Martin. We have a wonderful evening of music for you this evening, fantastic entertainment, and I'm sure you'll be thrilled and delighted. At times, if you close your eyes, you will, in fact, think you are listening to Joan Baez and Joni Mitchell. I Test me at the end, see if, we, if I'm not right. For those that you are re returning, we're so glad that you're with us again. Maybe you came to the first and second, or just the first, or maybe just the second, but here we are all together. And those of you here for the first time, uh, we do welcome you and hope that we'll, we'll see you again. It's going to be a great show. We um, have really some legendary interpretations of some of the finest singer-songwriters that have graced the, our stages in the United States and around the world this evening. The interpretation of Joan Baez and Joni Mitchell. You'll see some fantastic tunings and tremendous um, interpretations of these great musicians. And interestingly, that you will also see the performers putting uh, some of their own individual solo work as well. So we're looking forward to that. This evening could not have been possible at all without the tremendous support of you, the audience, and also the sponsors that helped with um, raising awareness, supporting, and creating the guarantee for the artists this evening. We do have a PayPal pool, and our, our colleague and team member, Finn Clemens, will be putting that up periodically. He's the one who helped you gain quick access to the room this evening. And um, if you wish to enhance your ticket, we'd love to appreciate your generosity. So thank you. But Finn will be putting that up periodically throughout the evening. We do want to give great thanks to Acoustic Renaissance in Hinsdale, Illinois, The Little Market in Ellicott, Maryland, as well as Pete Van Houten's uh, house concert series, The Refuge, Voices Cafe in Westport, Connecticut, and Undiscovered Music. And, um, well, they're everywhere. It's Undiscovered Music. Check them out, undiscoveredmusic.net, something in it for everybody. They've really got some great virtual shows that have been marketed. For those of you that are house concerts or venue hosts, check them out. Very easy to put your, your um, acts up very quickly. I, I thoroughly enjoy working with them. And Roots Agency is a fantastic musical entertainment agency that brings artists around the world and brings artists to venues and venues to artists and uh, does artist management. So we're grateful for their continued support. And Music My Mother Would Not Like. You can find more information about some of the projects that I'm involved in at musicmymotherwouldnotlike.com. Gigs of interest, as well as our Tuesday and Thursday series we do in, in the uh, weekly series. We have invited our guests this evening, some of the folks that made the evening possible to speak. They wanted to speak and say hello. And so while we're looking for them and rounding them up, we'll be asking um, Louise to, to make Dave Kaplan and Randy Steika, as well as uh, Jenny Porter and Pete Van Houten, um, guests and hosts so that they'll be able to speak as, as we bring them up. But I'd like, if we can, if we can bring Dave Kaplan from Voices Cafe. This organization has brought some fantastic musicians to the Westport area, which is, um, for those of you not familiar with Fairfield County, it's just, uh, what, northeast of New York City in Fairfield County, Connecticut. So, um, yeah, and then in a moment, I'll ask Louise to, to sit in and chat a little bit about the Zoom protocols, so how we can all best enjoy the programming. So see if we can't find Dave Kaplan. Okay, so um, Dave, I'm good here. evening, you welcome. Me? I'm glad to be here. Can you hear me, uh, Bruce? We can hear you loud and clear. I am unable to see you at, at present, but um, we're working on that. Well, I, um, I think my camera is on and I'm on the there screen is. <laughs> without uh, any further delay. Um, let me just uh, speak to the, the group. Um, yeah, I'm Dave Kaplan from Voices Cafe in Westport, Connecticut, the Unitarian Church in Westport. Uh, I'm so glad to be here tonight. Um, I know we're all in for a great show, um, but also we're in community, right, uh, for so many of us, this uh, music community has been sustaining uh, over the past year, and certainly for the artists um, who we've tried to support through this uh, challenging year. Um, but before I say anything more, I, I, I have other communities. I've got family and friends and, and uh, supporters from the Unitarian Church in Westport who are here tonight, and I wanna thank all of them so much for, uh, for all of their support. 
So Voices Cafe is, as I said, part of the Unitarian Church in Westport. Uh, generally, we do one show a month throughout the year. We've got a beautiful sanctuary and performance space. Uh, January of 2020, we uh, we had a sold out a couple of hundred people for, for Vance Gilbert. Um, Susan Werner has graced our stage a couple of times. And if I'm on your screen and you see my background, that's her hat back there uh, and her guitar. Um, that were photographed while she, at intermission, I believe, when she was there. Um, we are under the social justice umbrella at the Unitarian Church in Westport. So our uh, proceeds, our fundraising, and as part of what we do, support the social justice programs there. And tonight, in fact, um, our sponsorship proceeds uh, from tonight will support the uh, Domestic Violence Crisis Center in uh, Fairfield County, Connecticut. Now, speaking of Fairfield County, Con Connecticut, that's the home of WPKN radio station, <laughs> um, where uh, our friend Bruce Swan um, is the disc jockey. And uh, I've had the pleasure of uh, knowing Bruce from Fairfield County over the years and his good work uh, with Connecticut folk, for example. Um, and we collaborate in our region. We certainly are open and trying to. And there's another Bruce I see on the screen, Bruce Martin, no, no stranger to many of us. And certainly he's had Joan and Joni at the Blues Cafe in Southbury, Connecticut. And Bruce and Bruce, remember we met in January 2020? Remember the topic? We were brainstorming how to get more people in the seats. <laughs> like our yesterday. Timing, our timing could have been better, I think, because um, we sort of had to defer that. But I, Bruce, I, uh, I still hope you still have your notes because we'll, we'll get back to that, I hope. So um, we've been inactive through the pandemic for the most part. Uh, but in closing, I just wanted to uh, make sure to say we've got big plans for a couple of months from now for Live from Voices Cafe. We've We've got uh, high-end cameras and uh, our soundboard and our lights, and we're planning to bring in an artist to, uh, to perform and live stream from there. So stay tuned. Uh, our various websites are right behind me. And uh, our last show that we did at Voices Cafe was a Baker booking artist, The Black Feathers. That was a wonderful night. The next show that we did, we had we had Kippen and Jenner Fox booked for April, but we were shut down, so we live streamed. Kippen and Jenner in April. And that was our last show until tonight. So once again, here we are with Baker Booking. Couldn't have been more pleased, couldn't be more pleased. Uh, they must be pretty good partners or something, which indeed they are. So thank you, Bruce and Louise. Thank you, David. And thanks to Voices Cafe and the folks that have joined us from that uh, organization. You've done a lot of fine work and, and created a lot of work and community for artists, uh, an opportunity to meet new new uh, audiences and vice versa. So I, I, I uh, include Voices Cafe as one of my favorite places to see music. It's really quite a spectacular venue and we do are very grateful for your support of the Baker Booking um, artist roster. We've got some new ones to talk to you about, but we can do that off mic a little later on. But thanks so, so much for joining us. I'd like to ask Jenny Porter if she wouldn't like to say a couple of words as well. She runs a, a wonderful cafe called the Little Market Cafe and is a strong supporter of music um, by bringing in live music, musicians and helping to spread music and make music possible for both audience and um, the musicians. So Jenny, so nice to meet you. We've enjoyed our conversations and looking forward to um, perhaps collaborating on some projects down the road. And you made it. There was some concern as to whether or not you'd be able to make it this evening. So tell us a little bit about some of the musicians that you're bringing in and some of the projects that you've been able to do. And I know you've been a strong supporter of Kip and Martin, especially. Absolutely. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for letting me be a part of this. Um, it has always been something that I have grown up with to uh, want to put music out there for everybody to enjoy the newest artists, even the artists that are tried and true. I think it changes how your day is going, your night is going, like everything is how the music makes you feel. And if I can have a way to make that happen for people, it makes me happy. I'm not the one that's singing, I'm not the one that's playing, but I want to bring those people to everybody. So I have this little cafe in Ellicott City, Maryland, and 
We're really tiny. We don't have any indoor seating. We're mostly outdoors, but uh, we have booked so far this year uh, about 150 performers. Wow. So <laughs> we uh, really just love the whole music thing and the community thing. And, you know, if you're ever in Maryland, please come see us. And um, I do have to say to Bruce and David that I grew up in Trumbull. Uh -huh. So it's kind of a weird connection that we're all like Fairfield County people. Um, <laughs> so very, very interesting. Um, Kippen, she was my son's instructor for many years. Uh, vocalist and um, keyboards and she also tried to teach me it didn't go well <laughs> and uh, you know I'm, I'm just so happy to be here so thanks thank you thank you very much for your continued support um, you know all the artists need a place to play as they're as they're rising up through the ranks that everybody needs a place to start and the food just tastes a little bit better when the music is sweet behind you especially if it's live so jenny thank you so much and, and really thank you for your support this evening and making this all possible we have pete van houten runs a, a fabulous series called the refuge and um we got involved with him on a, a kippen project and kippen was scheduled to play there this fall in fact we sort of uh, massage some dates to see if, if halloween wouldn't work and and um their trip to Ireland had been moved around, and so the only way that we could work the date was if if we did it on Halloween. And Kippen said, "Oh, Halloween, man, that's that's kind of family, man. That's a family day. I don't know." I said, "Okay, listen. What's the at what time does the car have to be pointed to home to make this work for you?" And she said, "Packed up." I said, "Packed up. The ignition turned on and ready to go." She said, four o'clock." I called Pete. And he said, "We can do it. We can do this." We'll make it happen. <laughs> so thank you so much. It's really nice to meet you face to face. Um, we do appreciate your your support this evening. And thank you for being here and, and really supporting live music. You've been such a great friend to, to Kippen and um, putting her on the stage. So thank you so much. And, and nice to meet you at, at last. Very nice to meet you all as well. That's a nice microphone you have there, by the way, Bruce. You sound great. Not surprisingly, I know to Dave Kaplan. But um, so a, a couple of notes I've been making. The Connecticut connection goes deeper. I'm from the Farmington Valley. Uh, so I have very deep roots in Connecticut. I went to the University of Bridgeport for a couple of years, uh, majored in uh, tech theater. So there's wow. one. Not only that, but... Um, uh, Jenny, you and I have booked the same artist, John Durant. Uh, John played at our fall gathering uh, when, you know, when Kippen couldn't make it. And then things got better for a little while there, as you recall, end of October, we were looking pretty good. So we thought we'll have a few folks, we'll socially distance. We've got a lot of room. It's an outdoor event. And um, we had our best turnout ever, as it turned out. Everybody was great. Uh, that worked well. But anyway, so, um, and I think John's going to be over your place this weekend, I'm pretty sure. Or was he there today, right? Uh, he's going to be here to tomorrow. Tomorrow, that's right. Yeah, anyway. and then he's also playing with a different band next Sunday. He's, right. a, he's a man who wears many col uh, coats of many colors. <laughs> that John anyway. And he's so wonderful. He just, you know, yeah. he's just so happy to play. <laughs> And Bruce, we'll talk about him uh, off off show later too. But um, I just wanted to briefly mention my connection to it, to all of this is through Kip and Martin. I saw her perform. Uh, it, I'm down the road from Jenny. We're in a place called Woodstock, Maryland, that literally borders Ellicott City. That's where we do our our cool shopping. Is in Old Ellicott City. Definitely check it out down there. Um, and um, Hi Ho Silver is actually is our favorite silver shop. So, okay, enough local on that. Uh, so Kippen played near us in Sykesville at a place called um, Baldwin Station Pub, which is an old train station in Sykesville. They have a beautiful acoustic music room in there. Now they've changed ownership. So we'll see because of all of this. We don't know if they're going to be able to bring back live music again or if they'll put you know, just keep tables or what, but we'll see on that one. Anyway, she played with a local artist by the name of Heather Aubrey Lloyd. Mm. Uh, that I want to give a wonderful. Um, and <laughs> so she's part of a band called Illy Amy, as in I love you and I miss you. Thank you. Yay. With Rob Hinkle. Um, and I'm sure Kippen will give a shout out to Heather at some point here during the evening. There you go. <laughs> so they blew my mind. And I'm pretty sure I was courting Kippen before she got out the door. 
that night, uh, kind of on the spot thing. But anyway, I'm not sure she believed me, but she does now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, From my experience that that is not an unusual occurrence. Yeah, so you're definitely you're still very much on the radar screen. And uh, thanks very much for the opportunity to help out. Our mission really is uh, started with my lovely wife, Kristen, who's my partner in, in uh, at all things here at the refuge, um, celebrating an important birthday of hers. And we saw an opportunity to bring out local artists, particularly Baltimore area, I would say Annapolis, Maryland, but giving people that needed a platform and a venue where people weren't looking at the bar, at the uh, TV screen over the bar, you right. know, kind of thing. And uh, so the musicians fell in love with it. We found a brilliant sound guy. We figured out, hey, if the musicians are happy, your guests are going to be happy. <laughs> so anyway, thanks very much. Wish you all the best of luck this year. Hope we don't go too fast. We've got a few things planned. So, uh, but we have found with a small venue outside, probably like Little Market Cafe, people are hungry. Yeah, they're hungry to come out. So anyway, best Excellent. of luck in Slancha. Pete, thanks. Kristen, thanks so much. It's good to see you and meet you at all. I'd like to welcome Randy Steika with his his uh, venue called Acoustic Renaissance in Hinsdale, Illinois. Randy, good to see you again. Last time we caught up was, I want to say, Montreal. I don't know that it our paths crossed was, yeah. There's, in um, New Orleans, but good to see you. Yeah. Um, no, it's good to see you, and it's, it's good to see everybody. Uh, welcome to Acoustic Renaissance Concerts. I'm used to saying that in front of a, a church full of people. <laughs> Um, and like uh, Dave was talking about earlier, we, uh, we're the Midwestern contingent. Everybody else has been East Coast, uh, but we're also uh, have a concert series uh, that is monthly in a Unitarian church. It's been mm -hmm. going on uh, now for what well, would be 26 years. And we look forward to bringing shows back in the fall. Uh, that's, you know, everyone's uncertain about exactly when that's going to be. But uh, for any of our friends, any of the people that are watching this, uh, we miss seeing you. I mean, I'm sure you miss the live music, but it is going to come back. Um, so make sure you're on our email list. When we do start shows again, um, one thing we have gained out of this pandemic is uh, knowing how to um, have a, a good live stream. So we know we're going to be offering a live stream option for all of our shows for a while. Uh, where you can buy a ticket to see it in person or if you'd rather see it from home. And um, I think that's the one thing that a lot of uh, venues have found is it, it broadens our audiences so much. People that might have moved out of the area can still come and watch a show. So mm -hmm. uh, we're really looking forward to that. And um, good times are going to happen. But this particular show, Joan and Joni, I saw uh, it, pieces of it over time and we were actually hoping to book them in person. And when we had the chance to do it virtually, I'm like, let's go for this. It's time that we have some uh, great music at home. So uh, looking forward to the show. Well, I think that this is our first Midwest foray that, uh, that I'm aware of. So thank you for making that possible. And really what's so important here is that the works of a few have made it possible for many. I believe there's 153 people here, and those numbers will, will expand throughout the course of the evening. So we do thank each and every one of you for making this possible. I'd like to say hello to Louise. Uh, she's my partner in the room now, and she's going to talk a little bit about the Zoom protocols, and we'll get the melodies underway. So Louise, let's see if we I am, and I am going to be very brief. Um, I'll just add myself to the spotlight here. Um, it looks like everyone has got a good handle on Zoom, and my job is to just help you know the Zoom protocol. Everyone is on mute so that the musicians' music will come through okay. Uh, the only people that are allowed to unmute are the guests that we just had on, so you folks can unmute and applaud if you like, but then mute yourself back during the music. Turn your video cameras on so we can see your faces. I see a lot of people out there that I know and some new faces. That's great. And please put some things in the chat. Tell us how you heard about the show, came with one of the venues, or you saw it on Facebook. We like to know about that. And if you have any questions, you can um, personally message me in the chat or to Finn, and we'll try to help you out. And we'll be putting the links there to um, the merchandise for both Allison and Kippen and the Joan and Joni. So that's it. I'm looking forward to the show. I'm so glad that you are all here. Thank you very much. And thanks to the wonderful sponsors. I'm glad I got to meet a few of you this way and hopefully in person someday. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you. It's really a marvelous uh, experience. we got to unmute you, Bruce. Thank you. 
I was sounding so good, at least to myself. I just want to say thank you so much for being here. It really is the best way for us all to gather and see live music. We've been missing it terribly, and this seems to be the best and safest way that we can now get together. One of the things you can do, it won't cost you any money at all, is to, as uh, Louise said, sign up for the newsletter, sign up for the social media that these artists um, have it will be ex exhibiting for you, get involved in their newsletters. It's really one of the major ways that a venue decides how they're going to book somebody. You know, it, talent is not enough, it's, it's the draw. And uh, as you will see, these two fine artists have tremendous draw, and we're looking forward to welcoming them. I also want to say that Undiscovered Music, as I said, is really the backbone of what we're doing. Uh, it's a tremendous opportunity for you to meet new artists, um, find out where they're playing, and when the pandemic is over, you'll be able to see where please, people are playing all over the country and, and probably all over the world, too. So now it's virtual as well as some in person, undiscoveredmusic.net. And again, we're, we're thankful to them, as well as Ginger Roots Agency, fine booking agency and uh, musical management. It's a pleasure. Now I'm going to introduce you to Allison Shapira, and then I get to take the rest of the evening off and um, return a couple of notes to people and carry on. But um, it was her, I guess, their the insight of, of her and Kippen, a, an experience that happened together sort of serendipitously. And um, they've, she's crafted the show, honed it very beautifully, and polished it up to a, a very, very fine finished act. And again, this is our third time presenting Joan, the Joan and Joni, a tribute to Joan Baez and Joni Mitchell with Allison Shapira and Kip and Martin. The duo gave, have gained great popularity through the Midwest and or the Mid Atlantic and the Northeast. And by us being able to branch out to other organizations and partnering, um, we're able to now help them expand their. Their spheres of influence, I think, are the proper words in the, the uh, connections business. But a chance meeting at a music conference several years ago gave way to the fantastic interpretation of Joan Baez and Kip and Martin. And it's really my pleasure now to turn the, the concert and the evening over to Allison Shapira, and she'll we'll take it from here. Allison, good to see you. You look lovely, as always. And we are looking forward to um, what you've said to me is going to be a newer show. Some, of course, some of the gold will be with us, but you've got some new gems, too. So I'm, I'm anxious. Good evening Thanks, and welcome. Bruce. Thanks, Bruce. Good evening, everyone. Great to see you all. Kippen and I met a number of years ago and realized we had a lot in common. Both of us classically trained musicians, both of us independent singer-songwriters, and both of us deeply influenced by two musical legends, Joan Baez and Joni Mitchell. So if you haven't heard our show before, we have been touring for over six years and this is our third virtual show we the way the show works is i will sing the joan baez songs kippen will sing the joni mitchell songs and we'll put in some of our own music as well to demonstrate the influences these two women have had and continue to have on our lives the one thing that we can't do here that we could do in a live show is sing harmony Zoom hasn't made that possible yet, but this actually works to your advantage because you can sing harmony without worrying but what you sound like. You can be on mute, singing at the top of your lungs, singing along with us. So we very much hope you will join us tonight. I'm gonna to turn it over to Kippen to get us started with some music. Yeah. Kippen is one of my best friends and inspiration and incredible singer songwriter and teacher. And I'll let us get, I'll let her get us started. Cheers. What song am I playing? Oh yeah, this one. Yeah. Don't it always seem to go, but you go. 
Cheers. Ow! So much. As Allison was introducing uh, the show, I I was watching her speak and talk, and and I was thinking about how used to being on stage with her that I am. I'm so used to being on stage with her, and uh, you know, even through Zoom, she's still so like captivating, and it's just it was. I was a little bit, uh, what's the word? I was a little distracted thinking about, oh, I wonder when we're going to be in person again. But this is like almost, almost just as good as that. So, you know, um, so we're, we're super glad to be here with you tonight. And uh, yeah, I'll continue on with a couple of tunes from Joni's early, earlier career. Um, let's see. Just did one from Ladies of the Canyon. I'll do uh, another one from, let's see, Clouds. So let's see. I was just talking to my wife about what a painter Joni Mitchell is. And this song is, is a good example of Joni Mitchell's painting coming through in her lyrics, in her in her guitar work, the way that she illustrates a raucous guitar, or excuse me, a raucous uh, traffic horn with a with the treble on the guitar, and how she paints the sunlight coming through a room with the lyrics, uh, "The sun poured in like butterscotch and stuck to all my senses." It's just it's it's just really great art, and it's an honor to play it for you. So here is Chelsea Morning. <laughs> and an honor to get to share these incredible songs with you. I received uh, a request, or excuse me, I, it's actually, I think it's an internal request from the uh, from the, the team at Baker Booking and, and Joan and Joni uh, to do a song made famous by Judy Collins. Um, can everybody still hear me okay? Yeah, we're hearing you great. Sound great. Okay, fantastic. My computer froze, but I guess we're still going on the uh, on the uh, 
the other tech, which is great. You sound uh, great. Love that open detuning. Hey, thank you very much. Yeah, so <laughs> I love to share this song and I love to sing harmony with you, Allison. I can't wait till we can do that again. And so this was a, a song that had boosted young Joni Mitchell's career uh, by having it recorded by the inimitable Judy Collins. And so when Judy was touring sing and, and was singing Joni's song in her set list, which I imagine she probably still does, Joni nervously met Judy backstage on tour at one point, and uh, she wanted to thank Judy for having done these great things for her career at that point. And so Joni, when she was talking to Judy said, you know, Judy, I just, I have to thank you for, for singing my song. You know, I really think that it took an older woman's perspective to bring this song to life. And you may, you may imagine she didn't quite receive that as a compliment at the time. Uh, but that is <laughs> that is how Joni introduced herself to Judy. <laughs> uh, thank you, older lady, for taking my uh, my song. So uh, this is both sides now. Please feel free to sing along. Thank you. 
very much. It is my pleasure to reintroduce you to Alison Shapira, the talented folk singer and songwriter, and my very good friend. Please welcome to the Zoom stage, Alison Shapira. Thank you so much. This is the, <laughs> the, the unexpectedly cool part of this, Kippen, is that I got to sing both sides now out loud you know, while you were singing and it didn't disturb the show. So that's the, the beauty of this Zoom nice. environment. <laughs> I will start with a uh, folk song that I know someone who's listening really enjoys. So she's going to enjoy this one as well. Oh, hard is the fortune of all womankind. She's always controlled, she's always confined. Controlled by her parents until she's a wife. A slave to her husband the rest of her life. Oh, I'm just a poor girl, my fortune is sad. I've always been courted by the wagoner's lad. He's courted me daily, by night and by day. And now he is loading and going away. Oh, my parents don't like him because he is poor. They say he's not worthy of entering my door. He works for a living, his money's his own, and if they don't like it, they can leave him alone. Oh, your horses are hungry, go feed them some hay. Then sit down here by me as long as you may. My horses ain't hungry, they won't eat your hay. So fare thee well, darling, I'll be on my way. Oh, your wagon needs grease and your whip is to mend. Then sit down nearby me as long as you can. My wagon is greasy, my whip's in my hand. So fare thee well, darling, no longer to stand. Thank you very much. So being the Beautiful. third time that we did this, that we're doing this virtual show, a lot of you have joined before. And so we wanted to throw in some new songs to the set list that you haven't heard before. This one I decided yesterday to put into the set list. I was drinking coffee, watching the sunrise, listening to Joan Baez, which is what I do. And I heard this song and realized so many of you have requested this song. And I have not heeded that request until now. And furthermore, this song made me think of Kippen and her beautiful daughter, Gabby, who turns nine months today. And so not only am I singing this song that I've added to the set list in response to your demands, I am dedicating it to baby Gabby. This is a Dylan song that Joan has so beautifully covered, and I hope on mute you will join me and sing along. This is Forever Young. May God bless and keep you always. May your wishes all come true. May you always do for others and let others do for you. May you build a ladder to the stars and climb every rung. And may you stand forever young. May you grow up to be righteous. May you grow up to be true. May you always know your truth and see the light surrounding you. May you always be courageous, stand upright and be strong. And may you stay forever. Forever young. 
always be swift. May you have a strong foundation when the winds of changes shift. May your heart always be joyful. May your song always be sung. And may you stay forever transition to a traditional song. This traditional song is, is not the happiest of songs, I have to warn you, but traditional songs are rarely happy. In fact, Joan has said that she has spent a lifetime singing sad songs to happy people. So we're going to continue that trend tonight. Hopefully you are happy, although you might not be after you hear this song. This is from, which album is this? The 1976 Joan Baez Love Song album, because if anything is not gonna be happy, it's gonna be a love song album. And this is one that my mother is very much going to enjoy because she has been asking me to add it to the set list for a number of years. So my mom, Betty, you're gonna enjoy this. This is for you. This is The River and the Pines. began to sing. She was sweeter than the blooming rose so early in the spring. Her thoughts were gay and happy and the morning fair and fine. For her lover was a river boy from the river Charlie, he got married to his Mary in the spring. When the trees were budding early and the birds began to sing. But early in the autumn, when the fruit is in the Turn to you, my darling, from the river in the pines. Twas early in the morning in Wisconsin's dreary clime when he rode the fatal rapids. shore below when the silent water ripples and the whispering cedars blow now every raft of lumber that comes down the chippeway there's a lonely grief that visited by drivers on their way. They plant wildflowers upon it in the morning fair and fine. Tis the grave of two young lovers from the river in the
Thank you very much. Back over to you, Kiffin. Yeah. All right, I'll, I will share a song that does not end with two dead people. Um, <laughs> it's it's oh, unoriginal. On, really? Song. I mean, I feel like we're on a theme here. <laughs> Well, I, you know, I, I'm working on some murder ballads, but it'll be a minute. Uh, no. <laughs> so, I'll honor a request from Robin, who asked if I played any original music tonight, if I would include this song, which is about finding your yourself or your, your place on Earth next to someone or maybe even within a community in this song in particular it's about a lover but uh, yeah it's about about feeling like you're at home and i think it's a little bit uh it's maybe not so relevant during a pandemic because we're always just staying home but uh <laughs> but this song is called coming home Pre pretend like you haven't been home in a minute if you're quarantined okay so this is for robin thank you for the request Leave your burden by the door All the falsities there
thank you so much and thanks for the again thanks for the request robin i hope that that uh sated your uh, desire to hear that song that song live i'll share a song that i'm 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 glad to now be incorporating into the joni joan and joni uh set list at the at the suggestion of a fan and friend. So Ellen, I'm gonna play Free Man in Paris for you and for all. Oh, happy birthday, Robin! That's right, it was your birthday! Okay, happy birthday! I'm so glad we got to we got to do that for you. So a couple things about this song that I didn't know, which I should know as a Joni tribute artist. I didn't know that David Crosby and Graham Nash sang backing vocals on this track. Just super exciting. Um, I'm a huge Crosby, Stills, and Nash fan and young. And um, of course, I do know that. I did know that this song was about David Geffen, um, Joni's longtime agent, and eventually a record label executive, so president of a record label. Uh, and of course, the lyrics in Free Man in Paris talk about a, a man yearning to feel free again, uh, but he is uh, buried underneath of his responsibilities in the music industry. And so the song is about uh, about David, and he begged Joni not to include it on Court and Spark, the album, uh, but Joni did it anyway. She loved the song, and uh, David just didn't like that it sort of painted it painted his sort of the pri the private way that he felt but but yeah so let's do it so you guys have to be the backing vocalists okay on mute but you have to be you have to do it you have to just kidding you don't have to but. yeah Somebody calling you down I do my best and I do good business There's a lot of people asking for my time They're trying to get ahead They're trying to be a good friend of mine I was a free man in Paris I felt like better than alive There was nobody calling me up for favors And no one's future to decide
yeah, glad to have that one in the in the show now. So amazing! Like you don't have to discussion. travel with four guitars now. You can just keep them in your home and take them out when you need them. Right. Yeah, that was fun. I was thinking about when we packed up my tiny little Toyota Yaris and and drove. What did we drive to? Saratoga, Saratoga Springs, New York, or something? And we we did a show at Cafe Lena there. It was a lot of fun. All right, so we'll get a little bit further down the line in Joni's discography to Hajira, where um, Joni had Joni was writing this album um, after she had gone on the Rolling Thunder Review tour with Bob Dylan, and in her travels and on tour with Bob Dylan. She had an affair with author Sam Shepard. And so this song is about him. And the entire album of Hajira was actually written, uh, from what I understand, on uh, like a road trip with her friend. So the music was coming to her while she was on the road. And so much of this music has a driving feel to it. There's just rhythm, there's motion, there's, you can kind of see pictures going past on the highway. So, so this is one of my favorite songs from that album. This is Coyote. No regrets, Coyote. We just come from such different sets of circumstance. I'm up all night in the studios of Europe.
shop. Staring a hole in his scrambled egg. Picks up my scent on his fingers while he's watching the waitress's legs. He's too far from the Bay of Fundy. Appaloosas and eagles and ties. And the cards and the ribbon rides are spelling it out so I am in awe of Kippen's guitar playing. I mean, it's every time I hear her play, I realize I want to be Kippen as a guitar player when I grow up. And then about a year ago, I realized I could be. And so she became my guitar teacher. So she's actually <laughs> my guitar teacher and songwriting teacher. She also teaches voice and piano, as if that's not enough. So I'm working my way up to Coyote, but man, I, I got a ways to go for Coyote. Since Kippen <laughs> shared one of her originals, actually the one I used to listen to when I would come home after traveling all the time, I'm gonna share one that she helped me write a couple of years ago. And sometimes we write songs before we realize that we need them, or we write them about one thing, and then all of a sudden something else happens and that song detaches from the context in which we wrote it and then reattaches into our new environment. And that's what happened with this song, which I wrote to uplift people. And then the pandemic hit and I realized I needed to first and foremost uplift myself so that I could uplift others. And that's what this song is about. I hope you will sing along on mute. This is Let Your Light Shine. has been unkind The doubt still lingers in your mind You try to rise but there's a heavy weight that pulls you down How can you leave the fear behind? Take my hand You're not alone The sun shining on a brand new day the shadows dissipate I lift you up and help you find your way find the confidence and faith a step and try to climb you start to stumble but a quiet purpose keeps you strong you reach the summit just in time
song I have never played in public before and I've wanted to it's actually the first Joan Baez song I ever fell in love with from her 1983 live from Europe album which is what my parents had and would listen to my parents are folkies they're here they're in Sarasota Florida hi they're watching and this is a song that I have always loved and the reason I am putting it into the set list is because it's a song Joan Baez wrote about Princess Diana and her wedding to Prince Charles. And as I heard about the Meghan and Harry interview with Oprah, which then made me listen to the interview with, with Harry and Meghan, I thought about this song and I thought how interesting how a song written in one particular historical moment carries over. So as you listen to this song about a, a young woman, and a, a wealthy woman in love with this, this scruffy poet comparing herself to Princess Diana and how she would rather have this, this, this person than, than the kingdom and the crown. And so think about that in light of that interview last week. This is Lady Di and I, my absolute favorite song. You don't find it anywhere else. It's just on this album and it's really special. So I hope you enjoy it. Wake me with kisses in the afternoon. The butler knows any time you arrive is never just where you are by the sound of your car he'll be waiting there by the spiral stair you could drive me crazy with your unkept hair you don't know what a comb is and Cause you're fresh in your mind And you make the butler smile By bringing me flowers Like meteor showers Treating me like a queen Though I'm only 19 Which reminds me of something That I've recently seen it was a look in the eye of Lady Di as she stood on the balcony, knowing the last fantasy of the century was in her long white veil. Maybe she'd rather have you than the Prince of Wales and all the jewels in the and all the villages and towns lining the sea of the monarchy. And while I cut the roses, what about Lady Di? She's a child of the 80s, oh, just like you and like I. Think of all of the things that she'll never do. See a rock and roll show, get a heart-shaped tattoo. Look at all the music that I make with you. 
let's take a walk on the wild side Baby, I'm in love with you I'll leave my Dior in the cabinet door And I'll leave my bouquet on the breakfast tray Let's go for sale just like the Prince of Wales And did he ever love her in the afternoon? Was the kiss that she gave him in public oh just a little too soon? There's a tear in the eye of Lady Di as she looks from the balcony that's not the right chord but this is the right chord as she looks from the balcony knowing the last fantasy of the century is probably a lie my heart goes out to you princess lovely lady die cause for all that it seems here I stand in my jeans For whatever it means It is I who am queen That was fun! That was fun! All right. I've got another one and then I'm going to turn it over back over to Kippen for oh my god you, you are in store for something amazing but before you're in store for something amazing you are in store for a Dylan song this will be the second Dylan song that we're doing tonight but not the second song that Dylan not the second time that Dylan is mentioned this is my favorite Bob Dylan song crazy to think about the fact that five years ago I got to perform this song in Tokyo with a Japanese Bob Dylan impersonator. It was incredible. He did not speak English, um, but he did speak Dylan and it was amazing. And you can find it on YouTube. So please watch it. Don't watch it right now, but watch it later. I guarantee you'll have an amazing time. But in the meantime, you're going to hear me do it. My favorite Dylan song, irreverent, playful, doing it not the way Joan does it, but more the way Dylan does it, and then my own way. So please join me in singing along. You know you want to sing along. This is the time to sing along. Even if you don't know the lyrics, you may sing along. But don't think twice about doing it. Well, it ain't no use to sit and wonder why, babe. It don't matter anyhow. It ain't no use to sit and wonder why, babe. If you don't know by now, when your rooster crows at the break of dawn, look out your window and I'll be gone. You're the reason I'm traveling on. But don't think twice, it's all right. Well, it ain't no use in turning on your light, babe That light I never knowed it Ain't no use in turning on your light, babe I'm on the dark side of the road Still I wish there was something you would do or say To try and make me change my mind and stay we never did too much talking anyway but Don't think twice, it's all right Well, it ain't no use in calling out my name, gal Like you never done before it Ain't no use in calling out my name, gal I can't hear you anymore I'm a thinking and a wandering all the way down the road. I once loved a woman, a child, I'm told. I gave her my heart, but she wanted my soul. Don't think twice, it's all right. So long, honey babe. Where I'm bound, I can't tell. 
goodbye is too good a word, gal. So I'll just say fare thee well. I ain't saying you treated me unkind. You could have done better, but I don't mind. You just kind of wasted my precious time. Don't think twice, it's all right. Back over to you, Kevin. Wow. Uh, so, so the the Japanese Dylan impersonator. His name is Tokyo Bob. Yes, right? that's his name, He's Tokyo, Tokyo Bob. Bob. Okay. Exciting. So as many years as I've played this show with you, I've never actually gone and looked at that YouTube video. So I'm going to do it after this one. Don't do it yet. Not now. Not now. Evil. Okay. But uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to do that. I'm going to finish my, my lovely... Uh, I have a Kentucky mule here that I'm enjoying. Feel free to mention, you know, whatever beverage you're enjoying in the chat. You know, well water. It's very good. I don't know. But... So I'm, I'm partly drinking to celebrate that I just, so in 2020, Rolling Stone magazine re-released their 500 greatest albums of all time. If you've seen the Joan and Joni show before, you know that we talk about Joni's ranking in this sort of uh, pivotal uh, uh, list. And she used to be number 30 of the 500 greatest albums of all time with her album Blue. But I just found out that Joni's album Blue is now number three of the 500 greatest albums of all time. And I'm just so excited because I feel like she absolutely deserves that. I think Blue is just this, this incredible, I mean, I don't think this everyone who listens to it and loves it knows that Joni held nothing back. Chris Christopherson said about this album, he said, Mitchell, leave something of yourself. Like, like, like you have just bared everything and, and there's uh, you know, there's nothing left for you. And it's just the most, I mean, just one of the most vulnerable albums ever composed. And I'm excited to share a, a song with you from that album that she wrote about Leonard Cohen. And uh, it's also one of my favorite songs of all time. So I hope you enjoy it. It's probably one of yours too.
frightened by the devil And I am drawn to those ones that ain't afraid And I remember that time you told me You said love is touching the souls Surely you'll touch mine Cause part of you pours out Right, Allison, take us home. Uh, all I can say is, wow. Every time you play that, whether we're next to each other on stage or you're, I don't know, 50 miles north, it's, it's amazing. It transports me to another place, even virtually. And it shows us how powerful music is, that it can like reach right through the camera and the microphone and, and touch us. I was looking at the gallery of faces and people are closing their eyes and singing along and, and it's touching each person in, in their own unique place where the song touches them. And that's what I love about music. I also, side note, very much appreciate the fact that as folk singers, if we want to, we can drink alcohol while we're performing. Um, I trained as an opera singer, and we're not allowed to do that as in opera. <laughs> so I appreciate the, the, the flexibility of folk music. That doesn't mean I'm going to do it, but I appreciate that you can do it. And, and, I, and thank you for giving me permission to do that. Think, Speaking about famous songs written for other famous people, this is my favorite Joan Baez original. I think I might have said that Lady Di and I was. It was my first favorite before I found this one. It is also the song that most people want to hear in this show. And it is the song that we will never swap out because it is a song that touches people in such a visceral, emotional place. And I believe it's because of this this timeless, raw authenticity in the song that, that touches us wherever we are in our lives. There's the saying, a person never bathes in the same river twice. It's never the same person and it's never the same river. Like it's never the same river and they're never the same person. I, I butchered that, it's fine. You get the idea. The point is this song changes according to who we are when we hear it. And so I'd like you to enjoy this song with whatever it makes you think about. It is my favorite Joan Baez song. And I hope you will sing along um, either out loud, out loud or in your mind. This is Diamonds and Rust.
becomes your ghost again But that's not unusual It's just that the moon is full And you happen to call And here I sit And on the telephone Hearing a voice I know A couple of light straight for a fall As I remember your eyes were bluer than Robin's eggs My poetry was lousy, you said Where are you calling from? A booth in the Midwest Ten years ago I bought you some cufflinks brought me something we both know what memories can bring they bring diamonds and rust I think we have, wow, it is, we are nearing the end of our show. I want to thank a number of people, and then we actually have two songs left to share. This is the encore that we would have done on stage, um, but we wanted to, to share it with you. Before we do that, we want to let you know if you want to stay in touch with us, please join our mailing list. Finn is going to put a link to our newsletter in the chat. You can go ahead and sign up and stay in touch with us and hear about our next virtual show and at some point in-person show, which we're very much looking forward to. In the meantime, our backers, our partners, Baker Booking has been incredible and continues to be incredible to work with, Acoustic Renaissance Concerts, Ginger Roots Agency, Little Market Cafe, Music My Mother Would Not Like, which is funny because my mother loves this music, The Refuge, <laughs> Pete Van Houten, and Undiscovered Music, and Voices Cafe. It is. It takes 
so much partnership to bring you music in this type of format. Everyone jumps in. You heard in the beginning. Everyone cares about this and brings their heart and soul. And we very much appreciate it as we appreciate you being with us. So Kippen, I will turn it back over to you to close out our show. Woo! Okay. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it's it's that time, guys. I'm so sad. Um, you might say I'm blue. <laughs> Okay, sorry. I I couldn't help myself. Uh I've got the I've got the dad jokes. Um so in honor of Blue being honored with the third spot in the 500 greatest albums of all time uh with Rolling Stone magazine, I um I learned this song and I've been learning this song and I'm not, I'm not exaggerating when I say this. I've been learning this song for 20 years. I, I started learning it when I was uh, living in at home in West Virginia when I was like 13, I think, and uh, you know worked out some of it by ear. And over the course of a couple, you know, over the course of being a Joni tribute artist, continued to to try and learn the song. And anyone who's tried to learn the song knows that there are some really, really luscious and, and, and interesting harmonies. This is where you really hear Joni moving into her, her jazz voicings. And uh, it's, it's a really uh, tricky song uh, to learn. And so I, I'm really, really honored to share this song with you tonight. This is the first time I'll ever will have played blue. And to be quite honest, blue is, almost uh is is probably tied with a case of you for my favorite song and i, I want to say just a couple more things about this song because there's a there's a profundity in it where the song essentially kind of references itself at the end i, I find that to be fascinating that there's there's this really interesting almost mollusk shell kind of kind of uh, situation with the with this song i understand that Joni wrote a, a good portion of Blue, or at least some of the songs from Blue, after she turned down Graham Nash's marriage proposal. Um, and so this song deals deals with the idea of commitment. This song is confessional. It's also conversational. Uh, uh, songs are like tattoos. You know, I've been to see before. There's, there's such a an approachable uh, nature to this song and i've probably spoken now longer than the actual song itself but uh i wanted to share my love for this song and what an honor it is to play for you tonight and uh yeah congratulations joni for for oh yeah and and the album also won best album ever created by a woman in 2017 from npr so npr awarded her best album ever created by a woman which i you know I'm not going to argue with that. So <laughs> here's the title, title track of Blue. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.
inside you'll hear a sigh A foggy lullaby There is a song that it took me eight years oh of knowing you before hearing you play that song incredible i and literally just learned it so <laughs> <laughs> for, finished are, learning it after 20 for years for those right? who have heard us play before this tonight was a show unlike any other we brought in so many new songs to for you to enjoy and and i hope that you you feel this sense of togetherness that we have felt performing for you it was exactly one year ago that we had our last in-person Joan and Joni show at Jam and Java in Vienna, Virginia. Some of you here were, were there. We had an amazing show and it was the last live show, that, the last in-person show that I did. And who would have thought a year later, this is where we are, still making music through a virtual medium. We have proven that you can create this kind of community and connection in a virtual space, but we are all struggling. Every single one of us right now, a year into this pandemic, even if you got the vaccine, there's still so many reasons that we're struggling. And I want you to, to take comfort from tonight's show, from the music that you love and the sense of togetherness and give some of that comfort to your friends and family. Check in with them. So many people are not doing okay and, and are afraid to admit it. And so I hope you share this sense of, of togetherness tonight with those people in your life and then come back to us for the next show and, and we'll replenish your energy again. This is a song that Joan Baez has sung all over the world. She sang it on the steps of the Paris, no, not Paris Opera, sorry. She's standing on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial in 1963. And it is one that I would like to ask you to stand, but I'm not gonna ask you to stand because you might not have pants on. So I want you to stay seated, unless you have pants on, then you can rise. If you have someone in your bubble who you can hold on to and sing this song with, please do. If not, and just know that we're all here together. We would be standing up and holding hands in person, maybe a lighter or something like that, and recognize the power of music to bring us together, to help us heal, and to remind us that we still have so much work to do. Please join me in singing, We Shall Overcome.
night, everyone. Thank you so much for being with us. We hope to see you next time. Stay well. Bruce, back over to you. Thank you, Allison. What a wonderful night of music. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. And and finally, a big thanks to some of the people that made the evening possible. My partner, Louise Baker, the owner of Baker Booking, and my boss, as well as Finn <laughs> Clemens has been joined, has joined the team recently. It's been a tremendous asset and made it possible for us to watch the show a little bit more comfortably. But... Um, not without saying thank you, of course, to Randy Steika from Acoustic Renaissance in Hinsdale, Illinois. Please do check out their website uh, when they are able to do virtual shows as well as live in-person shows. And Jenny Porter from the Little Market Cafe um, in Ellicott, Maryland. Thank you for all you do for emerging and emerged artists and traveling musicians. And Pete Van Houten um, at the Refuge House concerts and hope that our paths can someday cross as well. Dave Kaplan and, and the entire staff at Voices Cafe, what a what a machine that 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 venue is just picture an upside down wooden boat with glass walls <laughs> add some beautiful floral arrangements and that just starts to begin to paint the picture one of the most impressive places i've ever seen music and and i'm proud to say i've seen and happy and lucky to have said i've seen quite a bit of music so check it out if you ever get in the westport area check out uh, voices cafe and Ginger Roots Agency, as well as Undiscovered Music. And thank you all for being here this Saturday evening. You had a lot of tough choices. I think you all made the right one, but I hope our paths cross again sometime soon. Allison and Kippen, thank you very much for a third and uh, final ser in the series, and hopefully there'll be more to come down the pike. Thank you all for being with us this evening. Get home safely and um, see the clerk <laughs> on the way out for your free parking validation. Good <laughs> night, everyone. Clap. Thank you. Good night, <laughs> yes. folks. Thank you Thank so you. much. Yeah, absolutely. Lou, Louise, can we unmute everybody? Maybe I here's some. I, we, did she do that? Yes. I you're all invited. So they can unmute themselves and clap. You're all invited to wake up your neighbors. And yeah. don't forget to set your clocks forward, too. Yeah. That's right. Oh no, is that tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. It's tonight. Je or yes, it is tomorrow. Je but... Jenny, now that our mics are unmuted, I have to tell you that one of my favorite parts of your of your sweet intro was the kitty cat on the back of the couch. <laughs> <laughs> that was so okay, precious. So I was texting you, Kevin. And oh. I was like, I was like, oh my gosh, I hate this. You know how I hate to be on the spotlight and I'm, I sound like an ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So, so you are watching me right now from my phone. So all, and anything you were sending me, I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to like. No, it's totally surprised. cool. It's totally cool. <laughs> cheers. This is what happens behind the scenes, folks. Yes, it does. And cheers. Our cats cheers. and texts. Wow, what a what a great night. What a great event. Thank you so much for being, for making it possible, Jenny, for helping to make it possible. Such a fun night. Uh, all the sponsors were just terrific to work with and um, going back and forth and emailing and do, putting up posters and, you know, trying to get Facebook to cooperate with our promotional <laughs> activities, which sometimes isn't so easy, but... I'm glad everybody found out somehow through Facebook or newsletters or word of mouth or through the wonderful series, you know, with Randy and Dave and Pete and Jenny telling all of their folks about it. It happened. We're so, so glad. It happened. Thanks, everyone. I suppose we'll get to our, uh, our little VIP uh, dealio here. Yes, thanks everybody for coming Good night, and uh, folks. Good night, everyone. in touch. We'll do it again sometime. Thank you. Okay. Good night. Thank you so much. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you very much for Good being here. You, and Danny and Pete. Everybody's contribution. Thank you. And thanks to Finn for um, making it easier for us tonight. Oh, man. <laughs> no problem. I, I could actually show. enjoy the music. <laughs> got, we get to see it tonight. Right, right. All right. We'll see you all soon. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Bye. -bye. Bye.